Hey there guys, today we will be looking at the Texas Distributed High Ally. Uh, so, funny enough, I didn't even know that Cigar City Distributed Texas now. Um, I was uh, at a different store today, and I was just walking through um, their beer, and happened upon Cigar City. So, um, High Ally's been around for a while. I don't know how, I guess it's probably been pretty recent that they've been distributing to Texas. I thought I had heard something maybe that they, um, I don't know, that was in the works or whatever. Um, so if you guys have any more specifics, you can go ahead and comment on that since I've been kind of out of it a little bit um, for a bit now. But anyway, High Ally was pretty sought after as an IPA um, for, you know, I mean, I don't know, I'd say probably a couple years ago, a bit longer than that. Um, and of course it's, not as much anymore, um, but, um, you know, I remember when this was, as I mentioned, pretty sought after on trade boards, but anyway, um, yeah, so this is, uh, Cigar City's IPA that's brewed with six different hops, 7.5% ABV, 65 IBU, um, they talk about being notes of clementine, orange peel, caramel malt, um, so I've reviewed it before, uh, but I've never reviewed one that's been distributed here, oh, and it's pretty fresh too, this one was canned on, uh, July 3rd. It's the 24th now, so under a month, which is uh, pretty cool. So, let's check it out. So, in the world of New England IPAs and hazy IPAs, let's see how this guy still kind of holds up. So, pretty big, foamy, slightly off-white head. It's got a pretty deep um, orange color to it. It's almost going towards amber. Um, there's a bit of translucence to it. Can't really see in the video. Uh, but here in person, um, it's not, of course, terribly hazy. It's not a New England style IPA. Um, but it does have a, um, bit of, I don't know, cloudiness to it. So check out the aroma on this guy. So getting a pretty good amount of uh, bready malt character to it. There's a bit of that caramel, but it's got a pretty big candied citrus. But really in a nice way. Um, it's got a pretty nice balance with that bready malt character. It doesn't have that really kind of big... I mean, it's got elements of the candied citrus, that caramel, hint of that caramel malt, but not as bad as... Um, you know, some, uh, some of the ones will just go a bit, I think a bit too much for me on that kind of candied citrus caramel malt, but this is a pretty nice balance with everything going on and it doesn't have that, uh, I don't know, I don't, I'm trying to think of the right word to describe it right now, but it's a bit, it's a bit too much, um, intense, you know, the, the, the that, that kind of style of IPA is sort of too much of a blend of that kind of. Um, intense malt character with uh, that sticky hop character, but it's got a really nice blend to it um, and not not overbearing. So check it out. Cheers. Pretty solid. Um, a lot of that comes out of the taste. Definitely getting that bready kind of doughy malt character the most a bit of that candied orange um more towards orange than grapefruit you know for 65 ibus it's not terribly bitter i think that malt character kind of balances that out a bit and it's funny that it reminds me less of an ipa to be honest um and more towards, honestly, I think that malt character reminds me more of just a, <laughs> an intensely hopped Pilsner. Um, maybe I've been drinking too many Pilsners lately, but... Uh, a bit of that caramel's coming through, but it's not overbearing, as I mentioned before. You know, I think that Highlight is still a pretty solid IPA. Um, you know, it's definitely not like the New England styles now. I would definitely still prefer those, but 
you know, if I'm looking for a pretty decent IPA to just to grab off the shelf, um, I'll definitely still stick with this. Um, still pretty, pretty great, pretty nice, easy drinker, um, and pretty fresh for, you know, being a shelf beer. You know, I don't know how, I guess we'll see how often these kind of come in. You know, like I said, I don't really shop the shelves anymore, um, but still keep an eye out for this guy from kind of waiting in between releases so anyway pretty solid four out of five for me i would say for distributed highlight um yeah that'd be pretty much it for this one so as always cheers uh got spindle tap release coming up in two days so i'll be reviewing those three might skip out on the houston hayes done that quite enough already but definitely juice and batch three and a heavy hand so as always cheers catch you guys later